And so um, one example that might have been discussed, so there are very many severe examples, one example that might also have been discussed is, um, is this one here. You have, a, you have a speaker, you have a cell phone, um, you get a call, you get a message, and then in the speakers you hear this some characteristic noise. We can try it out in a second. Um, so, yeah, maybe if I go to full camera once again um, and have my preview here, maybe I can zoom out a bit with the camera. So, I, I've, this is, as I said, this is the experiment that I've prepared for today. So, I have a speaker here. Um, it's turned on and it's set to full volume. And there, is, there are two cables attached here. There is one cable that would usually connect to the computer where you, or to any other audio player where you get the signal. And there's a, hello, good morning, come in. And there's a second cable. Um, and the second cable would usually go to the second speaker because you always get a pair of speakers because you want to get uh, stereo audio. And maybe, okay, um, I'm not sure. If my audio is too loud, maybe I should go down a bit. Um, okay, so yeah, we have the speaker, we have two cables attached to it. And, um, and I have a cell phone here. And it's, it's, it's exactly the cell phone uh, that you have also seen on the slides. It's my old cell phone. Uh, but it's still working. I've bought a new battery for it to still operate it. And it's a Samsung um, cell phone. It has a colored screen. And maybe I can zoom in once again. Um, and my kids would always say, hey, Dad, your, 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 your cell phone isn't working. And I tell them, yeah, it's not a touch screen. You really have to operate the buttons and push the buttons here. And it's a, it's a cell phone that could do 2G and 3G. Uh, so GSM, Dover System for Mobile Communication, and uh, the 3G was UMTS in Germany and in Europe, uh, Universal Mobile Telephonic Telephone System or Telephone Communication System, something like this. But the, the 3G has been switched off in Germany, I think, two, two years, three years ago. So this cell phone um, won't, will, will just operate on 2G anymore. Um, GSM, and GSM means um, that, yeah, does any one of you know what is the frequency that such a cell phone radiates at? at, at so this is the, the, what we would call D, D band in, in, in Germany and in Europe. It's a classical 2G GSM frequency band. I think it's also more or less used worldwide. It's, it's around 800, 900 megahertz. And um, yeah, so of course, so now, now, now we can do this experiment. So um, this cell phone runs on a prepaid card. And as a poor lecturer, of course, I don't have much money on my card. So I will call someone that will definitely not answer the phone. I will call my office because I'm not in my office right now. Hopefully no one will answer my phone. Yeah, and then you hear this very nice uh, disturbance sound that gets louder. The, the, closer I am with the cell phone. And if I quit the call, then the disturbance is gone. And this is a very classical example for electromagnetic compatibility and incompatibility. And um, yeah, what happens there is um, explained on, on this next slide here. Hello, come in. So we have a high frequency RF signal. Um, this is the 800, so the, the rapid oscillation is the 800, 900 megahertz of the cell phone. And then in this old GSM system, always eight cell phones would use the very same frequency and just operate at an eighth of the time. So they would, they would share a frequency band and one cell phone would radiate and the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one. And then after eight cell phones, they would start over again. Um, and so this means, of course, obviously, this cell phone needs to switch on the signal and switch off the signal and switch on and switch on, off and so on. So it's, it's not really amplitude modulated, it's rather pulse modulated. Cell phone switches the signal on and off and on and off and radiates the signal via the antenna. And then we have the speaker and the speaker, um, as you have seen, has cables attached to it. 
and every cable that you have everywhere acts as an antenna. And then the speaker is an active speaker, which means there's an amplifier in there. The amplifier contains nonlinear elements like diodes and transistors, and they will, they will demodulate the signal. So what you hear is not the 800, 900 megahertz of the cell phone. You will hear the shape how the cell phone switches the signal on and off. This is the, um, if I do it once again, um, call my office, yeah. This is the beep, 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 beep that you hear. And interestingly, if I place the cell phone somewhere here, um, it does not matter at which volume I have the speaker. So if I turn it to minimum volume, still the very same disturbance. Um, and this is yeah, quite common because, um, let me quit the call again first. So this is very common because the, um, the RF signal takes a different path through the circuit in there than the usual signal. And that's why, for example, it somehow bypasses the volume control. Um, yeah, and so hmm, there's still a cable attached to me. So now you can imagine if you are um, in a hospital, for example, and you get some medical treatment and there are cables attached to you, for example, that measure your heartbeat um, and you, you fiddle around there with your cell phone um, and the cell phone creates electromagnetic waves like this one. Um, so then the same disturbance, the same signals will couple into the cables that are attached to your body to measure your heartbeat. And then the machine measuring your heartbeat will not show 60 beats per minute, but it will show 200 beats per minute because it also captures the beep, 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 beep from the cell phone. And then three medical experts will be close to you very soon because they, they, they will think you get a heart attack, uh, but there's just an electromagnetic incompatibility with the cell phone and with some cable. And the same is if you, um, if you're on a car, a modern car is full of electric control systems for each and everything, and um, you have a cell phone, you get a call, you write a message, you call someone, um, cell phone signals might interfere with the control systems of the car and the car will suddenly break or the airbag will go off or some, something like this might